Hey guys, uh, here is another question from Electrical Machines, Gate 2020 Electrical Engineering Paper. So, basically in this question, what is the situation is, there is an alternator, 14 kV, 400 volts, 50 Hz uh, alternator is there, and it is running constantly at some speed of 1500 RPM. Finally, he says that he has conducted some OCC test and SCC test, that is open circuit test and short circuit test, and he has drawn the you know OCC characteristic and SCC characteristics. He has given you the graph in the exam like this, and he is asking you to find out the ratio of synchronous impedance unsaturated by synchronous impedance saturated. Okay, so first thing you have to understand: how do you calculate a synchronous impedance, be it saturated or unsaturated? See, synchronous impedance ZS of any alternator will be calculated basically. From these values, what you require is you require the open circuit voltage by short circuit current, and the condition is that this voltage and this current, short circuit and open circuit voltage, whatever are there, must be measured at the field current same. Same value of field current. When same value of field current is there in short circuit test, what is the ISC? When same value of field current is there in OCC. What is the VOC there? That is what we require. That is how we calculate ZS. Suppose if you are taking, suppose if you are taking the value of VOC after the saturation. Now you see this is the OCC curve, isn't it? Now where is the saturation point over here? This point corresponds to the saturated value, isn't it? So if you are going to take the voltage VOC here and if you are going to extend this SCC characteristic at the same field current here, if you are going to take the ISC that value of ZS is going to be a saturated one. Otherwise, if you are taking anywhere in between in this unsaturated region, here let us say I am taking here VOC and uh, at the same IF I am taking some uh, uh, ISC here, then that ZS is going to be what? My unsaturated synchronous impedance. Understood? So that is what we are going to do here. So he says that according to the short circuit test, 4, 20. 4, 20 means what is the x-axis? X-axis is the field current. That means at 4 amperes of the field current, the short circuit current is how much? 20 amperes. And you see, what is the short circuit term? Curve is a short circuit curve is nothing but a straight line passing through the origin. That means it is a linear graph. That means if for 4 amperes of field current it is producing 20 amperes, then what will be the value for 2 amperes of field current? The value for 2 amperes would be 10 amperes. If let us say field current is increased to what 8 amperes? If field current decreases to 8 amperes, short circuit current will also double, that is 40 amperes. Okay, you just don't take this graph for scale because uh, there is no space I have drawn like this. Okay, right. Now I want to take first, I will to calculate what? The unsaturated ZS. What? ZS unsaturated. So ZS unsaturated means I have to take the field current where the core is not saturated. So here in the question directly, he has given some set of field current values. Here I am going to consider this one 2 comma 210. That means this is from the OCC test. Here 2 amps is the field current and the VOC is how much? 210 volts when the field current is 2 amperes in OCC test. OC test. Now similarly, if SC test is conducted at same 2 amperes of field current, what would have been the SC ISC 10 amperes? Okay. So what is VOC at 2, uh, 2 amperes of field current? 210. Now what would be the current? Short circuit current at 2 amperes of field current, 10 at IF is equal to 2 amperes. Now, what is the jet saturated, uh, unsaturated impedance? 21 ohms. So, I got jet as unsaturated is equal to how much? 21 ohms. Now, I will calculate the saturated case of jet as. So, jet as saturated. So, for this, I have to enter into the saturated region of the curve. So, if you look at the saturated region, this is a saturated region I can observe. So, here what is the field current? 8 amperes. So, whatever VOC by IAC I am taking should be at the same field current of 8 amperes. So, at 8 amperes field current, what is the voltage y axis? 400 volts. Now, when the field current would be 8 amperes, what would have been the short circuit current? 40 amperes has already found, 40 amperes. So, if you strike them down, what you will get? 10 ohms. JS saturated will be how much? 10 ohms. See, very very important observation here. Always, always for a synchronous machine like this, ZS saturated will be less than 
the unsaturated synchronous impedance. Okay, this is a very important observation. So, whereas here you got the saturated impedance as 10, unsaturated impedance was higher, that is 21 ohms. Now, you are asking the ratio of unsaturated impedance by saturated impedance. Unsaturated impedance, how much? 21. Saturated impedance, 10. 21 by 10, directly 2.1. Option D, 2.100. This is the answer for this question. Simple. Thank you for watching.